in sunny Seattle, more specifically Capitol Hill. I'm at a brewery that I have never been to before, Outer Planet. Now I can see already walking by that there's a lot of activity inside. I'm not sure what it is. Are they having a party? Are they brewing? Let's go find out. We're going to crash the party. Hi guys. It's Sarah from KCMK. How are you? Hey. How are you doing? Uh, did I interrupt? What are you guys doing? Uh, we're getting ready to fill a barrel full of sour. You need uh, some extra hands? Actually, I know what you can do. What's that? You see that funnel right there? Yeah. If you can, if you can take that funnel, go just pop it right in there. Oh. This is quite a welcome. We haven't even met yet. Yeah, I'm Jim, by the way. Hi, Jim. I'm Jim Sicardo, I'm the, the brewer here. Jim the brewer. This sounds like we totally set this up. This is really happy. What we're doing is we're making a uh, sour beer. Uh, they say uh, it's a pretty traditional Belgian recipe. Uh, Pilsner malt, uh, uh, wheat, barley, oats. What we're going to do now at this point is we're going to age it. Uh, give it an extra oomph. We're going to add red, uh, uh, red raspberries. Dr. Sarah, ready for brewing action. Okay, next. Bing cherry is the most common cherry in America. Yeah, well, it's good. It's good for this kind of stuff because it has a lot. It has a lot of color and a lot of flavor. Cheers! Cheers! Cheers. Oh my gosh, I'm exhausted. I've been brewing all day. I don't even know who you people are. I, you're not Jim the Brewer. Who do we have here? I'm Christopher. What do you do here? Uh, I do all the tech. Me, hey, I'm uh, Dan. I'm the professional taster, one of the owners. Okay. I'm Kevin, and I'm just one of the owners that hangs out here. Just one of the owners. Just one, one of the, of the owners. three owners. Well, yeah. you, if you're the taster, or he's the taster. Well, I'm a, like, so he's, you are he's the a, problem. I, I might be a problem. <laughs> So you guys are pretty new to this business. Yes, correct. How did this come to be, and why did you choose here and this location and all that jazz? Him. Him. <laughs> we've we've been going tap room beer hopping for years, and we've loved beer. We've had many friends that have gone into the beer industry and have breweries, um, and then just we saw an ad for it, and it came along and, and got into it and. We're just having fun. So I'm enjoying an IPA, but I would love to get with um, my uh, co-partner in making beer here and learn more about the rest of the beer. Yes, so I, will, I will bring you out a sampler of all the beers that we have on tap right now. Now we're going to talk about the beers. All right. Uh, we have, right now we have eight beers on tap. Uh, we're going to be introducing uh, uh, 12 beers all together. Here coming soon, so we have even more beers available on a weekly basis. Uh, somebody, somebody who's watching this right now who doesn't know about your brewery, how would you describe the beers that you are passionate about that they will be able to find when they come here? Yeah, so I'm I, I, as a as a trained as a trained beer judge, I like classic styles, and so I always start off with cla classic uh, beer styles, even even if I warp it down the road playing we're playing around with the recipe. I, I'm, I'm always looking at, at the, the foundation of the beer. Uh, but you're not a big IPA guy. You like English beers or would you say you kinda like I, them all? I kinda like them all. I mean I'm actually I, the one I have in front of me right now is the is the ISA. I'm, uh, I actually have uh, uh, ambitions to make it to the gym later today, so I don't want to drink it something too strong right now. So this is a sour similar to the one that I made earlier today. Yes, yeah, so you <laughs> made. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm, I'm, giving, I'm giving you a credit for this one. Uh, so anyway, yeah, they're very, uh, they're very similar. Uh, one's using raspberry. One's using, uh, one's using the cranberry and cherry. Uh, this one has the cranberry and cherry, and we we added the raspberries to the one that's being made today. Oh, you can see it going down. Oh yeah, it'll take a little while. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen too quick. Okay, so it looks like we're done. The uh, this tank here is completely empty. All of that liquid is now in this in this uh, uh, barrel. We've got we've got a, uh, at least 50 gallons of liquid in there, and I'm going to pull this guy out. See how messy that is, and we're going to let this sit for, uh, for for a while and see how it tastes. And then when uh, when it's ready, we're going to get you back in here and uh, get some get some of the feedback. All right, so I'm going to have to I'm going to say goodbye for now. I mean, I'm not leaving, but I'm going to say goodbye. But I'll be back soon to taste our beer. Yeah, we'll, we're, we're going to let you know as soon as it's ready. And, Promise? Uh, yeah, and we'll, we'll let you be the first one to taste it. Okay. Uh, we'll continue. Uh, yeah, maybe. I'm not going to start singing. <laughs>